That's a long one. All right. Yeah. We are. We are live. Live so, on TikTok as well. All right. There we go. So for all you guys out there, and I don't know, can a TikTok camera see that? Too? Yeah. Okay. Other than the lights catching. So it. we are doing uh, World War II Barbarossa. This is a game from Zvezda. This is a big, you can see my hands. This is a it's big a box. It's a big box. It's heavy. We've had this for a while. Okay. Just, um, we've been playing with, you can't notice the printer back there. So we've been pretty sure you can't notice it or hear it. Uh huh. So this comes with quite a bit of stuff. Um, and it's, it's all about, you know, having fun on the table. So it'll, it'll give you a little bit of background that's on the box. Is in 1941, uh, the German workmark invaded the Soviet Union. I think I mispronounced that. The result was the largest conflict ever between two nations. So we will open it just a second there, Mini Wormut. Just put of you in command in. of the soldiers in this conflict. So this is a hex encounter game with miniatures. So if Jeff ever sees this, he he's there's no reason why he wouldn't like this. And it's historically accurate. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is um so you can see here many warm up there's things to build. So we're gonna we're just basically gonna chat and build chat and build. We'll let you see though this map real quick before you build it. Oh cool, you beat Charles. Nice. So I mean there are a lot of there's there's miniatures. Model so it looks like it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags, but each bag has both co colors, it looks like. Yeah, because you got the So there is yeah. quite a bit of miniatures in there. What's cool with this, too, is I like this as the aspect is they got the cards, and they're all laminated. So in the box set, look, it'll even come with pens. Markers. Yeah. They are. Dry erase markers. Dry erase markers. Basically, you can go, and I know. There we go. Oh, maybe. There's some dice. There we go. There's yeah. your decals if you want to do them. I don't know exactly what the numbers are. We haven't played this one yet, so. So how it works is the best. These are actually going to be terrain elevation. Yep, elevation. But I ordered. Didn't realize I'd ordered this quite a while back because it's yeah. almost impossible to find. Your directions yeah. on how to build these. Are actually, I think has the planes and the big guns, right? So, here. so here's your here's your maps and there's quite a few of them in there. Got your books. And your elevation. Um scenario book and rule book in here. Yeah, I am taking my time smelling the plastic. Hold on. Many more of thinks maybe we're going too fast. We're actually just trying to get it between this camera and the other. But you can see the rules are not this big. Look at this. Zvezda doesn't have complicated no, rules. No, they're actually pretty easy rules. Right, and I'll the book is laid open. out. Well, hold on a second. Yeah, you can open that. So I did do an unboxing of this, oh, geez, damn near a year ago. And rearranging the room, I'm like, holy crap. So we didn't, I just haven't had a chance to put it together. And we thought, instead of today, Keegan ain't going to be here. So you know what? Let's let's build this thing, man, so we can start playing it. That's kind of what I want to do. Um, so these can be used for Flames of War. Uh, Team Yankee. Can, Team Yankee. Yes. Okay, yeah, I don't know about Flames of War. Team Yankee and Flames of War, same scale. And he just finished his uh, first Team Yankee recording. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. Is All it right. up yet, Brian, on your channel or no? Because I've been big so hex encounter pieces. There's three different pieces for it. I believe. Nope, I found some more. Well, that's true. There's, there's far more, see. Give me a Those second. are trained, but these are also double-sided. Yep, they're double-sided. They have uh, cities on them, on some tree lines, like big mud puddles. There, there's some cities. This is one I was hoping Jeff would show up and see. Oh, he probably will. But If not, he'll catch it up after. It is. It is a hex grid, right? And your units are representative instead of chips you actually have models that represent those units and these I, are nice because you can change cool. out so oh, if you don't sure. want this big city you can actually put well these are also your elevation ones too yeah 
So I think actually they all are. Oops. Well, I'm just going to pop them all. Oh, well, okay. Pop it all. So you can you can make elevations and changes in the map. And... Oh, okay. The video is scheduled for next week. That's cool. We'll watch it when it comes out. I told you you'd like 15 millimeter stuff, Brian. It's fun. There we go. Um, that's basically oh, this. Yeah. And so you're going to we'll go on these. Some of them do. Yeah, so these are elevation. See the cut out nut. And then you put it on, and so it just gives you an elevation. So to it. there's a hole right in the center. <laughs> goes right on. And basically, it goes into. It says on the map, but. Hex. Right on. That's basically what you do. So. So many warm up. This is a this is a game that gives you a flame war type models uh, on a hex grid. So it's something I think you'd like too because it's not a straight up chick game. It's your units are represented by you know actual models. models. There we go. So I think I mean, and the box was like fifty bucks for all this, which is to me pretty killer. But it's like you get to, six elevations. Trying to do there, yeah, six. six. But, but six you know, scenarios and stuff just don't come on the paperwork, and then that's, that's the one we need. Those are the, the cards. cards. Here, right. open. Well, there's not anywhere for the card. No, go, I'll have but, to get some. Well, do you get a rubber band or anything, or just wait? Uh, it's okay. It's all right. I don't know, but I'll just crack it so that way I can pull them out. <sighs> Um, with the other Savezda game we have, we didn't get these little bitty cards. We have like full sheet that are laminated that you write on. So these are actually nice having little cards instead of having that big sheet everywhere. Uh, it's this one. It's not that big a sheet. No, it's not big, a... but... Here, so I'll show you. This is what we did was the other Savezda game we got, we laminated this this player aid sheet. This, this you know... There you go. Didn't have a laminator at the time, so we went, I think, to Office Max or something. It was cheap. I believe so. I think it was Office Max. And just or laminated staples. it. So there's all your cards. Oh, these are literally separated in each one. Uh, then you can actually build your own uh, squads, companies. Well, with this, we got to read the rules on how this one's going to play. But you get these little markers. I'm wondering if this isn't the round one. How many rounds? 40 maybe. it has. So I'm wondering if that's not what that is. So Or supplies. Or maybe add yeah, supplies. Well, no, all your supplies are up well, on no, your own you thing. Got, you're going too fast. So it'll give you the units and what there are. There's yeah, the... you just mark things off as you go. And it's yep. and it's dry erase. So you literally just, you know, you, and they even give you <laughs> two dry erase pads right there. So Which for any women who play this, it's literally a makeup pad. Well, okay, but it works, right? It works. So you got everything you need on this one. And baby dice. Baby dice. They are. They're little baby, baby dice. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know you're done. All right. So let's let this out of the way. That's that's her cure station beeping over there. Okay. So it should be separated. So go ahead and readjust this camera. And uh, coffee oh. should be done. Okay. All right, let me go grab coffee real quick. So these are, let's quiet. There's models to build in here, you guys. And that's, that's just what we're going to do is going to take time to build the models and get them going so we can start getting the game down. I mean, each package has quite a bit in it. I don't know, man. It was a pretty good deal for the money. Now, trying to find this online anymore is hard. And with all the political BS and all that crap going on. Yep, go get your coffee. Then it makes the supply chain issues a bit hard. Thanks. Thanks, World War II. You, you ruined it. The Germans lose. Yep, you ruined it for everyone. Well, this is a big set here, Brian. Uh, and I've had it for a while. Our the unboxing video, I think, 
I want to say I put it up last uh, November, so it's been sitting here. <laughs> and we need to get the, the model built because the game itself to be played in um, just a few minutes ago, we were um, showing what come in the box briefly, but there's a lot to right. it. But yeah. So then, as you can see over here, Ashley's got her printer going and her little cure stuff. The cure going. station just up, so let's get these pieces off of here. Good one, Ash. Hey, as lucky as the big one. All right, there's all those. We'll set that there for now. Oh, top you need to do top. some videos on the stuff you've been printing. Too. Yeah, I know. Between it's just been crazy trying to get stuff done. So why would you? Uh, why don't you put that back on there? And, I'm gonna set it on the floor. No, leave that there. It doesn't have to go on the floor, unless you're gonna knock it off. I don't think so. Okay, well don't knock it off. All right. So uh, yeah. Figure out what we got here. So we're gonna get one package. Let's see what you got there. And are you Russian is something? Find you. Yeah. So you should welcome those people to Ashley. Oh, I have been what couldn't mean everyone. Have we been printing a bunch? Um I guess so. <laughs> There's a whole I can't see. There's bunch a, back there. There's a bunch of chair back. Yeah, it's a lot of my tear nids. Oh, hey, Charles, how are you? Uh, this, is, this is Barbarossa. I think you would like this too, Charles. It's Hex Encounter with models, though. What is this? Instead one? of Hex Encounter with chits. So it's, it, it combines okay, so there's both a of them. Tank there. Cool. This is the anti armor, or anti armor, anti tank gun, I believe. Yeah, it's the anti tank. So there's the anti tank. It comes with a base too. Yep, it comes with a little base. So these flags I'm that are assuming on that's what that is. That you can see are unit flags. So what happens when you're placing your unit on a on a hex, it's gonna show the unit number. And so then you can keep track of where your forces are. And then so it's it's pretty Zvezda was made a lot of stuff that other people tried to copy. Unfortunately, due to the political environment restrictions and everything else, it's really hard to get Zvezda stuff anymore. I don't even technically know if they're still in business, but because they're from Russia, it's definitely I think this is the look this game up and, and see if you can find it. You can maybe find some, but sometimes they're very expensive or well each one has its own base, and I just gotta figure out which one it is. Yeah. So that one, okay, so these two go together, because that is your anti, so the Soviet anti-tank. This, I think, is like a mortar, but I don't see the mortar part, unless that's just troops. Oh, it's the machine gun. That's the machine gun, gun crew. Okay. You say it don't look like a mortar. Or it is, does it have the uh, the Soviet? Uh, yeah, the green is. No, I know. This, I meant, do, 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 nope, this is the uh, HQ. Uh, the captain or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so that's your HQ model. That's the HQ model, and then this would be your T-34. Yeah, T-34 for this one. Because the Germans have the Panzer II and the Panzer III. Oh, great. Artillery! Chocolate-covered caramel popcorn. Hey, that kind of sounds good in any warm-up. All right, so... Oh. We had we had frosted mini-wheat, so isn't that technically uh, sugar-coated wheat? Which, I guess, cancels out the healthy part of the wheat. So each of these have their own little bases, and... That's the HQ, so it's kind of hard. So once I get it built, I will show you this one. So somewhat. See how simple the tank is here, though. So um, they're the same scale wise. It looks like or close to it. I think these are actually a little bit bigger. Well, one, but like I said, one unit on the game board represents a unit. Like one 
could represent three and so on. <laughs> so they have, but Zvezda has really good models in general. Um, a lot of people before, and you could readily get them as interesting, like when we were playing tanks from Gale Force 9. You you could go get the Zvezda models, which had more detail, and they were like 495 But if you went to buy one from Gale Force 9, they were 995 for a tank at the time. Uh, so now you can't hardly get, or you know which one goes where? Yeah. Oh, okay. So Ashley's going to, I can't see the instructions upside down. Yeah, we got our frosted mini wheats from the local health food store. So it's real wheat and so real sugar. Is. I don't know about the sugar part. It's probably not good for you. But when you look on the ingredients, it's, it's like two, not 50 with all the chemicals and crap. Okay. And then Mitos had some tacos this morning that looked like. Yeah, I was like, geez. Well, it's his daughter's birthday today. Yeah. So tacos, tacos. Uh, say I I don't know her name, but happy birthday! I know Mita said something last night that he'll be on and off kind of thing. Yeah, it's his daughter's birthday. You need the. He's chauffeuring today. Nice. Go ahead and. But anyways, this this was a pretty big box that Come on. been sitting here, so we need to get it done so we can. <laughs> Weird World War II says he took Mel to Denny's. She gorged on strawberry cream cheese stuff, French toast, and she's running around in circles now. But yeah, you probably gave her enough sugar for the week, man. But that sounds... Strawberry cream cheese stuffed French toast. I wonder how they stuff the toast. But maybe they I don't know. That just you can like... buy now. They make them where you can actually, it's a stuffer for fr uh, French toast and waffles. So you put a little bit of batter down, then you put whatever in you want. If you want chicken waffles or whatever, they put more batter on top and then flip it like, like a waffle maker. Did you say chicken waffles? Chicken and waffles. Who the hell eats chicken and waffles? I'm just saying that's a big thing on TikTok. Oh. Do you mean like cut up chicken? Yeah, like fried chicken. On top of waffles? With Inside the, the waffles. So you'd have to grind the chicken into a paste? No, you can put chunks. So you chicken meat inside a waffle with syrup? Me. Yeah. Is it good? I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Okay. I, say, I don't know. <laughs> Weird World War II says it's just magic. He doesn't know. It's some sort of food manipulation. Not that they don't do any of that. So, so what are you guys up to? I know, Brian, Mini Warmut, you're, you're still on your... Are you still on your birthday, birthday. Uh, break? I call it a break because it's a nice long break. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Thankfully, people that are watching the show know you're doing a model. Oh, there it goes. Don't break it. No, it pops in. Oh. So there's two so far. Where's the third guy? I'm oh. still working on two more. Oh, okay. Because some of them you can twist off, and then there's other ones where you have to actually snip them off. Okay. So, that's two. Working on the third one. The other one already has everything built. Just this guy. Frosted cookie flavor coffee. Now, speaking of that mini warm up, uh, that sounds overly sweet, but uh, if it's a, like a light background flavor to it, it might be good. i seen... Um, at the big blue store the other day, I rarely go there, but in their clearance aisle, yeah, I just I, put his arms on backwards. They had IHOP, um, which is what you're drinking. I know, I can tell chocolate chip, um, cookie 
chocolate chocolate chip coffee for two dollars because nobody was buying it so they they were clearing them out and a waffle syrup coffee but they were i don't know about that one they were ihops and i'm like yeah i don't know if i want to drink liquid syrup that doesn't sound appealing so i thought well ashley's always like a chocolate fiend i'm a woman yeah but the store security shouldn't stop you from trying to take chocolate bars out of the out of the store ash i don't take them <laughs> i buy them first so so you just made me sound like a thief she, i bought that and i'm like it's it's not bad no it's good with the peru coffee you purchase hey as long as the coffee's good we didn't want to, uh i put a lot of research into that brian or uh, many more but literally because there are so many other people doing it but i just wanted to get good suppliers mito says his was go good we ordered that cowboy coffee ourselves and i i really like that uh overall yeah we it, it, it didn't even it last two looked, weeks yeah, it didn't make it too long um because we we just got on a coffee drinking spree with it but well it's cold um, um, okay so those are i gotta go find my speaking of which i think weird world war ii i think did you tell me a long time ago that the cup i sent to you and sent to mel that mel's broke i think i can't remember though brian i think that's what he said all right there's that there's okay that. so there's that's that. the hq hold on i'm not that don't touch no touchy why am i billy you've got <laughs> right, germans right there you got the instructions and they're upside down to me i can't read upside down backwards but i can open a package hold on a second some of them have russian in them and yeah. some have german or they have both sets and I know there's a plane in here. Yeah, here's your plane. Um, so the smell gray, plastic in the morning. It is. It does smell good. So the gray mini warm up are the Germans. Okay. And green is are it, the Russians. <clears throat> Casualties are inevitable to war gaming. <laughs> Yeah, this is this set mini warma is Germans versus Oops, the Russians yep, in, Bar, Bar, in Barbarossa in 1941. So it would be uh, early war because of 1941. Last one. Um, hold and on a second. And then like there's a plane in here, so I guess we're gonna get bombing. Great bombing stuff going, which is cool. All right, there's the HQ for. So I'm going to show Brian what I mean. See the the little green flag. It's also you can write the unit number on there and it wipes off. So this would go in a hex and it would represent, you know, your HQ. Or if you had a couple guys, it would represent your, you know, your machine gun teams and this and that. Oh, well, welcome everyone. Yep, yeah, here you're trying to. This is the HQ that. That is the German H or Russian the H Russian HQ. HQ. Yeah. And this is for Barbaro. So you know what, May Warmont, I know you didn't see the. Thank you. Historical gamers, boy, I I don't know everything historical. Uh. Uh, Brian from Weird World War II. Just I know some of the time frames. But the box set to me was just, wow, this is cool. And I like the way that their tank game played. And so, you'd say it's weird and they'll hate you more. Um, actually, I can't say this is weird. I kind of think it's genius. They took, they took people who like models and people who like Hex Encounter and they made a game for it. And, uh, and then we'll try a race marker so you you can constantly change things. But I do like that you yourself. really don't your, need the glue. And your cards are already done. Coded for you. That's a, and they're quality models. They're not junk models, you guys. So 
Zvezda is just a company I really enjoy. You just about can't find any of their stuff anymore. And when you do, some of these that used to be five dollars, people are now selling for ridiculous amounts, you know, and it's uh, they're like price gouging it. But I would say honestly, with the way games are out there, this would be worth even you know a hundred bucks. You're getting you're getting quite a bit with it. Cool. And like I said, it's been sitting there for a bit, so we gotta not uh, snap together too. Yeah, it all snaps together, but I'm just putting a little bit of extra glue just to keep it. Don't glue these in. Do not glue the flags in. You did that the last time and you effed it up. You did it again, didn't you? Yeah. Ashley, <laughs> don't glue them in so you can transport them. They unclip. You dinged hard. Oh, God. Now, there goes that one. Whoops. It's not oops. You can't find those replacement flags. Can you get that out still? Or has it set? It probably set. I can find out. Nope, I can't get oh, it. Oh, it's set. Oh, damn it. Well, now we're going to have to rethink how to store that because you just, you shouldn't have done that. Anyways, those little flags on the tanks, or these, like I said, these little, and you did it to this one too, didn't you? Yeah. Didn't you? Okay. Well, Again, these are these are so you can supposed to be able to pull the flags out and you can lay your miniatures down or whatever. Because once these break, you have no way of marking them. So, and I can't replace the set, to my knowledge. So, I meaning, babe, you just made a boo boo. What did you do? You didn't push that on there. Because it's not on there. That way, it turns. It's not a locked hole. No, it turns anyways. You didn't clip it. Oh, I didn't clip. Oh, I had it all the way down. Okay. So this little tank will sit on the hex. So you should show the people behind you because you're not. Put it in the freezer. Yeah, I could try that. Then the next thing I could hear is Ashley saying it didn't work, so I defrosted it in the microwave. And then, then oh, I wouldn't put it in the microwave. That'd be another conversation. I'd put it in the oven. <laughs> if I'm gonna melt it, I'm gonna melt it correctly. Come on. The three fifty for twenty minutes. <laughs> three fifty broil. That's a bit over here. <laughs> and these are the troops after the nuclear war. You can see everybody's melted and burned. So, let's see what this plane looks like here. And for those of you over there on TikTok, thank you for swinging by. Well, it's got a stand. So he's the standing one, so it's this one. <laughs> It's even got little bomblets, the propeller separate. Nice. But the detail on their stuff's good too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Shut <laughs> God! Nope, it's a gun. Or it's a bullet. So. That makes it interesting. Uh, but if you go back to the beginning of this, then you'll see what's in the box there, are many. Or again, we got the unboxing video. You just gotta go back a bit. So everybody has their quote. They call it pile of shame. I just call it retirement pile or pile of fun, something for later. And it's time to get this one going. Especially with the end of the year coming up, and yeah, we're trying to get the pile down. I got knocked out quite a bit. It's I still have a, uh, a lot of them over there, but your ADHD, ADHD, ADHD has been. Hey, you're the one that got me a printer. 
No, I didn't get you a printer. It was our printer that you copied. I had just had the fucking time to go and actually look go through it. You have it. So, ugh. So, anyways, Ashley's printer. And my mine. printer. It's mine. Seems I'm busy printing up a storm of her. Well, the only thing that seemed like it sighed correctly. That's yeah, my biggest thing a, right now. It's the side a lot, a lot of the files you get to say they're one size simply or not. They literally are not. Okay, so this guy. No more starter set purchases? Sure, Brian, sure. Because yeah, right. as soon as there's a sale, you can always do them later. Like, this is literally down near a year later. I'm putting this together from the unbox, and I think it's pretty close to that. And uh, I just got... I Brian, not life. stopping... No. But our our uh, New Year's plan is like this. We're just trying to get things tidied up and then, and go forward with a little bit more of a a better schedule. In the meantime, we're just not really worried about until the end of the year. Right, so I mean, we're not commercial. We don't do any of all that other stuff. So we just do what we can as we can and and pick things up as we can we can. But it's just like Legion. All those Legion guys, they're just sitting up there going, Greg, game with us. Uh, sometimes uh, I've seen a tear, but maybe I was told it was my imagination, but they do appear to look sad up there on the shelf. And uh, then we got to schedule something with Zombicide, too. All that stuff we got with Zombicide and. Once these Avesda models are all put together, we'll we'll do a video of them too. I think they're pretty cool, really. Glue down. Just remember, if you do pick up one of these kits, try not to glue your your flags in. Did you just go nee, 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 with your head over there? That's what you did. You were like, nee, 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 nee. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. What is in the top of our glue cap? Uh, so I ended up, it got clogged, so I tried sli uh, cutting it, and it split. So I took a piece of <laughs> one of my old um, Let me see that. paintbrush That's... and snapped it off. You just ghetto fired the bottle of glue. Look at I guess it works. Looks like it's got an extended range dropper. Poop, poop. Yeah. Works. Is that my coffee cup? Mine? Uh, uh, uh. It's my coffee cup? Yeah. Maybe Warmut says she's going to try to get the city building's done and figure out a way to have a zombicide more of a tabletop game. Yeah, All there right, are vids so on that being done. Four, five, so six. the nice thing with zombicide is is you can play it with or without, I think, any of the extras. But I like it'd be nice to get the 3D printed walls they have for them or the buildings, and then you got a little bit more of a tabletop mm -hmm. game. Uh, but it's good the way it is too. And that's why we're going to take it up to that con we're going to do in February uh, because it's simple. And well, we're taking it up to um, yeah game con up here in February. Then March to victory in March is what we're planning on taking. So because Brian's supposed to be showing up, so it gives us something to play with him. Yeah, if you go there, many warm up. We're gonna to March to victory. We're taking uh, taking Zombicide to that. You that way, that and just Jeff get, can't get out I'm of it. Just waiting for them to get back with me on space and all that stuff, table times, all that. Uh oh, little pieces, yeah, little pieces like going on the guns. It's going on a gun. You're gonna use the rules provided, or make it hard using Warlord games dice draw for turns. I don't. I haven't used that. So, is it make it harder than many Warlord? I mean, I'd have to look it up. I 
to see what you're talking about on the Warlord Games dice draw for turns. But I mean, why not make Zombicide harder? I mean, why not? I mean, it's hard enough on its own. I don't it gets really that. overwhelming sometimes. But That's was, right, but it doesn't seem like right. Well, is that your machine gun team? Uh, the anti-gun. Anti-tank? Uh-huh. Oh, ye bastard. So that's what we are doing, trying to build and get that down. I can't really see. Uh, why does it have to be so tiny? Well, some of the pieces are not going to be super easy anyways, but This is why I don't like little things Go figure This must be This looks like it might be the yeah. This looks like it might be the mortar crew here. For yours or mine? No, the the Russians are all green. Well, I didn't see what color you had. Green. This does not want to close. Okay. I'll just kind of glue it on there. Generally, all their stuff goes together pretty easy. Yeah, I haven't had a problem yet. It's just this one. I think the part's just so, so tiny. And most of their stuff is the push to fit. And uh, that's been around for a while for them, too, although it's new for some other companies. All right. Then I need two to this piece. Oh, okay, so it makes it sporadic then. Instead of just the survivors going, then the zombies go, it mixes it up. It could be the zombies go, and then the zombies go again. Nope, I'm good. <laughs> Turns we have enough problems trying so to... So you draw it from the dice bag. Okay, that makes sense. You should be... Is there anyone over there? Nope, not yet. There was. Same people. You got somebody at the top there, too. Uh, Welcome, Joe. Three. That might make it interesting when you warm up, for sure. Yeah, nope. We have enough problems trying to survive. We're not adding an element of, hey, screw it. You know what? The zombies get to go twice. That would be hysterical. I'm good. I think that would really, that would really mix it up. So let's just sit here. What are you looking for? No, I just glued my finger. That's fine. Don't want to glue your fingers, then it's hard to. Instead of Operation Barbarossa, it'd be like Operation Stick Your Fingers. Got to undo them. Where's the, where's the, oh, that is machine gun going to sit on there. It's the. Like the shield? The shield that I'm trying to. He. Mm -hmm. 
No, I'm not putting it on backwards. Oh, don't do that. You better make sure, because if you glue it on upside down and backwards. No, it's not. It's just, it's got to sit on there, and it's not wanting to sit straight. That's an anti-tank gun there. It doesn't want to go in all the way. But most of the pieces are just going to be fairly easy to put together. Yeah, I said no problem. That tank went right together. Yeah. The other guys went right together. This other half went right together. It's just that's a different, <clears throat> but that's a little some little pieces there. That's what's still left on this screw. Yeah. Wheels. The wheels and the top anchor piece, basically. The wheels on the go round and round. So you could take. Let it dry for a minute, and then... Okay, where does one go? I'm confused. If you're confused, set it aside, let it dry, and we'll go back to that one. No, there's there's no one on here. Mm -hmm. Just like these extra little pieces. They, they didn't have numbers. Or they have numbers, but nothing on the thing. Because it's... These pieces, and then I need twelve. Number one are these. We'll have to see what happens when you shouldn't have pieces left over. Though really, not too many. I mean, on the. Uh... Gale Force 9 tank stuff, you had some oddball pieces left. <clears throat> I don't know. That's an extra piece. Same thing with that? That's the, that's the screw there. Oh, the wheels you might have to go on. Careful. I know. To put, oops, it's supposed to be down. And some of those are mm. going to be small. Mm. Without doing that. <laughs> It's been a long week. I'm not ready for work again. Oh, there you go. May want to that one. You may want to touch up with glue once it's set correctly. Oh, uh, you got a piece hanging up. I know. Shouldn't be out. I gotta get the wheel in the hole. There we go. And no, I did not glue this flag. All right. Uh, May Warmite, go ahead. Have some lunch. I'll catch up with you later. Thank you for stopping by, sir. I wonder what he's going to get for lunch. No, I'm Brian Tacos. Or some form of Mexican food. See, I didn't put it, I didn't glow it. Okay, so let's see what that looks like here. That looks pretty good, man. Yeah, there you go. Comes out pretty good.
Look at you finally being assembled on the plastic. No, that that was what was confusing me. It was what it looks like they're trying to reload it. Yeah. Is what it looks like. And what is this one? <clears throat> These aren't mortars. I don't know what this one is. No, maybe these are mortars. Is that the next one says the bill? Or do you have multiple of the same? Oh, you know, I'm wondering if this is an LMG group. Do they look like they're laying down? Yeah, it's an LMG. And then this is the mortars. Because you got a mortar right there. All right, so we'll do the LMG. There's the base. So the base needs to go this way. So that's the what was I going to say? Oh. I wanted to say something that slipped my mind, but there you go. At least they're being built and getting done. Oh man, I apologize. I I've just been tired this last week. Ship order seven. Seven. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. I want to keep up with that and pay attention, so it's all good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. So, well, maybe this is a bit boring for our viewers, I guess. I don't know. But, he goes to that one. We can give you an update to get some of these done and. Oh, we're trying. Well, you can only go so fast when you build models, you guys. Well, when they're so freaking tiny. Some of them are, but the rest of them aren't. A lot of the, the tanks and stuff. Well, I'm curious on how you're going to build your Germans. Because if I'm having problems with how tiny these little things are, you got bigger hands than I do. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's difficult when you're trying to work with little pieces. I see this is part of an arm. Only yeah. a machine gun. Here. There's one of the hands that you have to glue on. Uh, well, here. No, no, no. That goes with the That might be a little difficult for me to do. I got a little modeling tweezers, or, so that would be that'll work out all right. Goes with this guy over there. Hmm. He's there. Five goes as well over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then what are those? What you got? I don't know what those pieces are. Um, I don't know. Just 
Looks almost like a sandbag wall, maybe. Yeah, but it's not on there. Huh. I don't know. Well, some of it's, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go, you guys. It might be a little bit, a little bit slow on some of these pieces because it's just a very small. Oh, freaking tiny! But the game, the game is. Uh, you spend four hours building, and then the game is thirty minutes. No, but as you can see, the the units come out quite nicely. You know, I mean. Yeah, but these ones, I mean, with any of them, Flames of War, Team Yankee, um, World of Tanks. Actually, I think World of Tanks are actually all painted now. Uh, but all of them, they're painted. You know. A specific color. Do you have to paint them? No. You can play with them the way. Well, this is set up to play with. All your Russians are going to be green, and all the Germans are going to be gray. Um, but you'll move these around as you need to, and then that works pretty good too. This one here is what I'm waiting for. Is the plane? There's a. Do the Germans get one or Russians? No, I don't think the Russians. No, we don't. We get transporters trucks. Yeah, so the Russians got a bomber. That is something. I mean, B the Germans got a bomber. S. <laughs> Not the Russians. So it looks like, yeah, you got the planes. I got a Soviet truck. You got one as well. Well, it tells you on the back. We both have machine guns, HQs. We both have mortars. I got one tank. You got two. But I got anti-tank guns anti -tank and gun. anti-aircraft gun. So it'll be interesting because they're different, different boards with the two. So They have one uh, called Stalingrad. If you can pick it up, it's... It's supposed to be a fairly difficult one to play, though, but it's part of the series. Oh, that's not one of my pieces. Like, what is that? That's one of the check. Well, I got a whole bunch more models to build. Bags of them. So we kind of started something like this one bag here. One, two, three, four. Four sprues. Yeah, but it's probably like some of these other ones where it's two sprues for one thing. Uh, this had two different sprues. Well, I'm curious because there's Bob Wire in this one. See, Bob Wire and fence posts. So that'll be, that'll be interesting. Bob Wire. Yeah, look. Right here. What else you know? Bob Wire. What? Come on! <laughs> I don't see no Bob Wire. It's in with the German stuff, so I don't know. It's good to it. Looks like it's some sort of bunker. That's what it looks like to me as a bunker. So it's going to be like maybe... Or it's the truck. Mm -hmm. Like the uh, axle. This isn't. This is Bob Ware fencing. And this looks like a bunker, so I'm just wondering if it's not going to be like a fortified position or... Uh, mm -hmm. That you have to take, because that, that looks like a bunker with Bob Ware fencing. 
Where's the other booklet that's all Soviet build? This no, it's all of the build. Oh, okay. Oh this is all the build. That's quite a bit. Jeez. So we'll keep you guys updated with the, the builds on this. I don't know if we're going to get them all done today, Ash. I don't know. I'll keep working on them. If it wasn't for these tiny, itty, itty, bitty pieces that you have to try to fit into the little holes. Yeah. And it's like, they because they clip together, you have to push on it so hard, but it's like you don't want to break it. And then my leg keeps coming off. Stay. Right, there's one arm. So don't forget, we'll be on later today at 4 p.m. on Sunday. If you want to check out some of our coffee stuff, Hit that barcode up there at the top with your phone, that QR code, and just let us know what you think. I think we'll go ahead and, and maybe wrap this up for now and get some of this building done um, and then get ready for our show here in a little while. But we appreciate you guys coming by. Thank you. Yep, thank you. We will see you again later this evening.